Another gay movie? Quick, here comes the angry fans. This week, we got the two minute review of Uncharted. Roll the clips. There are places out there you can't find on any map. They're not gone. They're just lost. Tom Holland is back with some parkour reminiscent of Spider-Man. But even so, the action scenes weren't that astonishing. The whole movie itself was a lifeless national treasure without the fun clues or Nick Cage's intense overacting or his receding hairline. Oh, come on! All kidding aside though, Nick Cage is actually a pretty good actor. Some people forgot he actually won an Oscar. It's funny what depth can do to you. Anyways, back to the movie. As someone who has never played the game, I had no idea what to really cheer for. The story about Nathan Drake who teams up with Sully to honor the memory of his brother and find Magellan's long lost treasure. It was about as tense as a kid's movie. I've never seen anything so safe and so generic in my life. The only thing duller than the puzzles was of course the characters. Also, how many times can these guys backstab each other? It was like non-stop. By the end of the second act, I hated everyone. It's okay if they all die because there's no reason to cheer for anybody anymore. Especially Fraser. She gets no ending at the end, which I was okay with, with her disappearing forever. What? She's an integral part of the video game? Damn it. Apparently, the gamers got a little bit more out of it than I did, but even my friend, who's a huge Uncharted fan, said it was by no means a good movie. But of course, for the ladies, this movie's for you. Tom Holland is either doing chin-ups in a suit, shirtless, or in a wet t-shirt in every action scene. Also, is it just me, or does Tom Holland have the fastest drying t-shirt in all of movie history? Now, as far as game movies go, I will say this one was better than Welcome to Raccoon City. This one actually had a passable script and a decent set of cast, but it was by no means a movie that you had to see in theaters. I'd definitely give it a skip. Crap! Oh. 